tonight, suspect surrenders. The man accused of shooting two police officers, killing one, comes out with his hands up after a 16-hour standoff. The community's hurting. You know, law enforcement community's hurting. Tonight, two small towns are mourning a fallen officer. He was everything to everyone. He protected this town. He befriended everyone in the town. Good evening, I'm Mike Bush, Ann Allred has the night off. Tonight, 35-year-old Kenneth Lee Simpson is in police custody. He was nearly 24 hours ago. Police say he shot two officers at the Casey's gas station on Missouri Highway 19 in Herman, Missouri. Detective Sergeant Mason Griffith died. Officer Adam Sullentrump, who's on the right, was critically injured. Our Laura Barczewski is live tonight outside Mercy Hospital, where that officer is being treated tonight. Laura. Mike, the community is already rallying around these officers and their families. Tonight at a prayer service, I spoke with some people who say they were truly dedicated to their community. They'll deeply miss Sergeant Griffith and are praying for healing for Officer Sullentrup. The Missouri State Highway Patrol says Sunday night, Herman Police Detective Sergeant Mason Griffith and Officer Adam Sullentrup were called to Casey's gas station just after 9 o'clock for a burglary or robbery. That's where they found 35-year-old Kenneth Simpson inside the store. The officers attempted to take Sim Simpson into custody for multiple warrants from Franklin and Warren County. An altercation ensued and the two Herman officers were shot. Sergeant Griffith was rushed to Herman Hospital where he died from his injuries and Officer Sullentrup was taken to Mercy Hospital in St. Louis. Meanwhile, investigators say Simpson took off to a house near the gas station where he refused to come out for 16 hours. A perimeter was established around the home and the Missouri State Highway Patrol SWAT team and negotiators responded and work to establish communication with Simpson. Officers demanded Simpson come out of the house with his hands up and when he refused, they deployed gas and he voluntarily came out a side door where they pushed him to the ground and arrested him. It was a scary night and afternoon for neighbors. Last night, I never did, I didn't leave the house. We had it locked down, uh, two dogs. So if anybody moves outside or any, any little noise, they're going to let us know. Uh, never heard anything. They slept through the night. Uh, we got a couple hours of sleep. The community immediately jumped into action with prayer services. Our thoughts and prayers go out to um, the officers and their families. Um, Herman Police Department, Gasconade County Sheriff's Department. Um, they're hurting right now and, and we'll do whatever we can to support them. One of them was held at St. George Catholic Church. I think prayer is the first place we begin. I'm, I'm sure a lot of things will follow in the community to support these families and what they're going through. A deacon at St. George says these two officers served in extraordinary ways that go beyond the badge. Like helping people out and taking them to different places. So I, I get to hear all that on the scanner. Plus I see them around town. They're, they're just really good people. Now, the Missouri State Highway Patrol says Simpson will be held in the Crawford County Jail awaiting charges from Gasconade County. Reporting live from Mercy Hospital, Laura Barczewski, 5 on your side.